All right, welcome to Immaculate Wealth. We try to get you to your FU number as quickly as possible. Okay, negotiate like a pro, unlocking better deals and bigger paychecks. Effective negotiation skills can significantly increase your lifetime earnings. Negotiation is a learnable skill that improves with practice, not an innate talent. It's not an innate talent. Mastering negotiation prepares you for success and entrepreneurship. Good negotiators often receive better opportunities and faster career advancement. Negotiation skills can save you thousands on major purchases like cars or homes. The ability to negotiate effectively sets top performance performers apart in any field. Negotiation prowess is critical for securing investments in future business ventures. Learning to negotiate reduces the fear of asking for what you're worth. Never be afraid to ask what you're worth. Or not ask, but really command what you're worth. All right. Skilled negotiation negotiators often report higher job satisfaction and a sense of empowerment. Negotiation techniques can improve personal relationships by fostering clear communication. The confidence gained from negotiation successes spills over into other areas of life. Negotiation skills are transferable across cultures, benefiting international careers and businesses. What are some problems that people have with negotiation? So fear of rejection often prevents people from negotiating, leaving money on the table. Lack of preparation leads to weak negotiation positions and poor results. Emotional responses during negotiations can derail otherwise promising deals. Many people undervalue their worth, leading to lower starting offers. Failure to understand the other party's perspective limits the potential for win-win results. Poor communication skills can lead to misunderstandings and failed negotiations. Lack of confidence makes it difficult to stand firm on important points. Inability to read Nonverbal cues can put negotiators at a disadvantage. Focusing solely on price often leaves value on the table in negotiations. Lack of creativity in problem solving can result in missed opportunities for agreement. Fear of damaging relationships sometimes leads to avoiding negoti necessary negotiations. Impatience often results in premature concessions or walking away from good deals. Now, what are some ways we can can, can solve can resolve these? these problems. Develop a strong best alternative to a negotiated agreement. 
to increase your leverage. So what, what I like to think of it as, if you're going into a negotiation, think of the minimum that you want to walk away with without walking away with nothing. So let's say you're say you're trying to negotiate and the minimum the minimum you want to negotiate is eighty five thousand dollar deal. Let's say eighty five thousand dollars for whatever item it is right and then that you have that in your mind but then when you go into the negotiation you start higher say 120 grand start higher and then you negotiate from there and then if you You know, if they get to a point where it's below and below that, that number you, you originally were thinking of as a minimum, and for some reason you don't negotiate higher than that, then you walk away. Walk away from the deal. All right. Practice the mirroring technique subtly mimic the other party's body language and speech patterns to build rapport. Use silence strategically. Get comfortable with pauses to encourage the other party to reveal more information or make concessions. Implement the anchoring strategy. Make the first offer when you have a clear advantage to set a favorable starting point. Employ the framing technique. Present your proposals in a way that highlights their value to the other party. Develop empathy. Spend time understanding the other party's needs and motivations to create win-win scenarios. Master the art of asking open-ended questions to gather more information and gain insights. Use the if-then strategy to make multiple offers simultaneously increasing the chances of finding common ground. Practice active listening. Focus on understanding rather than just responding to strengthening your negotiation position. Leverage the power of deadlines. Create a sense of urgency to encourage decisiveness and prevent drawn out negotiations. Prepare thoroughly. Research market rates, practice your pitch, and anticipate potential objections before entering negotiations. Learn and negotiate for value, not just price. Consider non-monetary benefits that could sweeten the deal for both parties. So here's some things you can do right away. Identify one upcoming opportunity to negotiate, raise, purchase, and then prepare your strategy.
practice your negotiation pitch with a friend and ask for feedback. Research industry salary standards to ensure you know your worth. Write down your best alternative to a negotiated agreement for an upcoming negotiation. Try the mirroring technique in your next conversation and observe its effect. Share your biggest negotiation fear or challenge in the comments. Set a specific achievable negotiation goal for the next month. Find a negotiation role play partner in our Money Blitz community. Read one article or watch one video on advanced negotiation techniques. Reflect on a past negotiation and identify one thing you could have done better. One thing you, you could have done better. Practice asking open-ended questions in your daily conversations this week. Start planning your entrepreneurial journey by listing three areas where strong negotiation skills will be critical. All right. Well, that's what we have for this episode of Immaculate Wealth. Practice your negotiation skills. It could land you with more money in your pocket. All right, it's a silent thriller, and we'll see you in the next video.